What's up, you guys? So I totally felt really inspired to do a pick a card reading all about your greatest power. So this is really like a superpower of yours, something you're really amazing at, incredible at, you know, something you really excel at where people are like, oh, my God, how do you do it the way that you do? So I wanted to dive into that. And I would totally be lying if I said that this Mother's Day energy didn't have anything to do with this because I feel like moms are superheroes. So with that powerful energy, we have seven groups today, as you can see, group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, group six and group seven. So go ahead, pause the video, do what you gotta do to kind of feel out each group. If you feel drawn to more than one group or even more than two, that's totally fine. I know there's several here. So yeah, pick and choose wisely and I will see you in your reading. What's up group one? I am sure you chose wisely, so trust your intuition. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's see what your greatest superpower is, your greatest strength, your greatest power, you get it. I'm hearing put this under the crystal ball so that I will all right let's see what's going on for you group one all right so we start with the nine of Pentacles already liking that energy Virgo energy then we go to the two of Pentacles Capricorn energy then we go to the devil in reverse love to see that in reverse and I gave everybody seven cards but I think for you there was one extra card a lot extra wanted to come out for you. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands here. Aries, Sag, Leo, by the way, Capricorn, or I'm sorry, the Devil is Capricorn energy. Then we have the Hangman energy in reverse, Pisces energy. And then we have the Two of Cups, Cancer energy. Then we have the Queen of Wands. Aries energy and finally we end with I love it the tower in reverse yes let's keep that tower energy in reverse okay group one we got a few cards to dissect here and we're gonna make it as short as sweet short and sweet as possible if I could actually talk okay <laughs> All right, group one. So we start with the nine of pentacles. So that's a really strong money energy. The nine of pentacles is all about a single woman in her bag. So I feel like there's something very success related um, with you and your superpower. Maybe making money is really easy for you, right? Like you're able to jug, juggle. I almost said jug. <laughs> Um, maybe there's something about jugs too. I'm getting like a jug of water could be abundance energy. But with the two of pentacles, this is about juggling and being able to juggle. So maybe you work multiple jobs or you have multiple facets of income, multiple streams of income. Yeah, because with the devil in reverse here, I see that you don't tie yourself to any toxic attachments because the devil is all about a lower vibration, the seven deadly sins. So in reverse, this is you getting away from that energy. And yeah, we have the ace of wands here or the one of wands. So this is like a fiery magic, very passionate renewal energy. For I feel like some of you, maybe there was a time where you either got exhausted from overworking yourself or you just felt like it was a rat race that you couldn't keep up. I feel like even if you are in that energy group one, I see that ending. I feel like your superpower has something to do with being able to turn your circumstances around. I'm hearing in record time <laughs> at pivotal moments. Yeah, so we have, oh, I love that outside, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's almost like that happy, like, up energy. Maybe that came around for a reason. Who knows? <laughs> so we have the hangman here, the hangman in reverse. This can be um, anxiety, group one. So let's see why that's coming out. The two of cups. This is about synchronicity, divine alignment, reconciliation. I'm kind of getting this energy of being able to turn around your seemingly bad circumstances or almost realizing why you were in those circumstances to begin with because in some way it made you stronger yeah this is uh queen of wands aries energy very independent very fiery passionate and the, the tower in reverse this feels like at any given 
perceived shitty moment group one, you're able to get yourself out of it. Like there's this energy of like, I can always turn my circumstances around. I feel like that's your superpower. Like the universe or life could throw some shit at you, right? Like you got fired from your job. Oh really? Okay, well I wanted to start my own job anyway or have my own business anyway. It's almost like whatever it is, it's a stepping stone. Like you use your obstacles as a stepping stone. I'm getting like a big mountain energy in my head made of rocks, <laughs> like starting from rocks. And I feel like that's what you do. You you make a mountain out of a molehill. What is that Wayne line that he says? One of my favorites. I can't believe I can't remember it right now. I could turn a crack rock to a mountain. Yeah, that's literally what I'm getting. <laughs> All right, let's get more for group one. Tell me more about their superpower. Yeah, because there's a lot of fiery energy in here. Maybe you are a fire sign, Aries Sag Leo group one. One more shuffle. And I also feel like in some way, there's this energy of you not just um, getting out of a shitty situation, but making money, profiting from it. Give me more for group one. I'm going to take this one. Mice. What am I hearing of a mice and men? 23. This could have even been a shitty energy that you ended as of last year with that 23 energy. But mice, you know, this can be about worry, doubt, <clears throat> and the Lenormand deck. So I'm almost getting this energy of like you stomping on mice. I'm getting <laughs> this energy in my mind of a mouse trap, like a visual. All right, group one, tell me more about their power, their superpower. It feels like no matter what, you come out on top, not just able to turn a situation around, but you come out like the best of the best. I love how I said that. And then I can comes out food meditation. So maybe you are a nutritionist. You know, you're super into that. I feel like there is something about food, too, with the mice. And they're particularly it looks like an apple could even be an onion. I think that's an apple. <laughs> but it, it's like there's something about healthy eating randomly. Maybe you're really good and conscientious of what goes in your body. Group one, we have ego death. Go, go, row. Yeah, I feel like there's something to it, this. When I say you turn things around, you're on top. It's almost like this royalty. I can do whatever I want. I can become whatever I want. This is not conceited. This feels very like trials and tribulations have led you to this point, group one, where you're like, I I can make a mountain out of a molehill. This is feeling very much like there's nothing you can accomplish. I almost feel like with the Queen of Wands next to the tower in reverse, it's almost like you call the tower down. <laughs> okay. Give me more for group one, their greatest superpower. Cold brew, this is all about energy, right? That's why people drink cold brews or coffee in general. There's something about um, energizing, very passionate energy. Kind of, We have two colors. You're a very colorful person is what I'm getting. We have eggplant. So this is supposed to be like sexy, seducing energy. I think you have the power of seduction too. And I think it's not even just because you come out on top. This is kind of feeling like alpha. I don't know. For some of you, this is feeling like alpha female. Even if you are a male watching this, it's like you can attract whatever you want um, or whoever you want. But I definitely feel like there's a very passionate based energy in here. And then we have Eclipse, which is all about influence. Yeah, this is feeling like you have a lot of influence. Confetti Rainbow on the other side, which is all about options, opportunities. You are the one that makes your own opportunities, Group One. You have this extreme superpower of being able to call the shots because you turned a negative into a positive. I'm hearing take this one. So you have projections and I'm hearing other people's projections are moving past you. I also think there's a lot about you, like people projecting you as a very pos like powerful, positive person. But I'm almost getting some people might have a negative opinion like, oh, you know, group one, they get whatever they want. They just stomp on the little guy. You know, there's two towers in here. Right. So this is kind of feeling like. It's like you're calling the shots and you're just, you know, saying what it is. And that's exactly what you're doing. But I feel like some people might look at that as like group one gets whatever they want and they don't have to go through any struggle. But it's like, no, you've done a lot to get here. Group one. Enjoy the ride. I love that. That's the card that we end on. Yeah, this is all about having a good time on the merry-go-round, right? Like enjoying 
life. This feels very much like you actually enjoy the ups and downs, like the craziness, like the super highs and super lows. You might really like roller coasters group one. That could be something or theme parks or amusement parks. It feels like there's something about actually like enjoying this crazy shit show of life. All right, let's get some charms for you group one. I'm hearing take out your selenite bowl. Sometimes I'd be forgetting. All right, one charm for group one I'm hearing. Feel it. Let's see what it is. Oh, we have the butterfly. It's half of the butterfly. Okay, so obviously I had, I think this came with two halves, um, but they're specifically in half for a reason. It's almost like you're halfway there. You're developing, you're growing. Um, and I feel like for you, it's never complete. There's almost something in here with the half butterfly of like, there's always more unfolding. There's always more getting it done. For you to, yeah, it's almost like you enjoy the shit show. It's almost like if there's not problems, it's like, what what's going on here? Like, why, why don't I have a challenge? You really enjoy a challenge, and that is a superpower group one. Okay. Give me a message for group one. Let me pick that up for you guys, group one. Of course, courage jumped out. So that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and I love that it's like trees, connection energy. It's I feel like you draw a lot of people in because of who you are. And then we have I express my needs and feelings. So you're a really good communicator, group one. I feel like a lot of people think that you are, you know, someone that might just stomp on the little guy. But this is really feeling like you worked hard to get to where you are and to have this superpower of being extremely fiery, passionate, energetic, and being able to make a mountain out of a molehill. And they're telling me to take this one. It was just sticking out. Voice, self-expression. Oh my gosh, more about the throat chakra. Truth. Sincerity brings infinite blessings. Live your truth. So... I hope that resonated, group one. If you are interested in a personal reading, head on over to themoonempress.com. Otherwise, in my description box, there should be some information on how to get in touch with me if you're interested in a reading. But yeah, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching, group one. What's up, group two? Let's find out what your superpower is. We are going to dive right in. Okay, so I'm going to put this beautiful crystal quartz right there. All right, group two. I think I have seven cards for each group. So the magician in reverse. Interesting. We have the three of swords upright. So the magician is Mercury energy. That's Virgo and Gemini. Um, three of swords is Libra energy. We have the nine of cups in reverse. Pisces energy. The two of swords in reverse. Libra energy. The Four of Swords, Libra Energy. The Four, the Four, the Emperor, which is the Four, number Four. And the Eight of Cups in reverse, Pisces. All right, group two. Let's see what's going on with your superpower. So the magician in reverse, this is things not manifesting, not alchemizing the way you want, right? Not manifesting. And then we have the three of swords. This can be a heartbreak energy. This is feeling like I'm heartbroken that my desires aren't manifesting in the way that I want them to or at all. And then we have the nine of cups. Yeah, this is wish unfulfilled. Upright, this is wish fulfillment. You know, they're kind of happy. He's courting her in reverse. It's like, yeah, shit ain't working out. What is going on, group two? <clears throat> then we have the two of swords in reverse. This is not being able to make a decision. Then we have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is an energy of like resting, chilling out. Um, I'm just going to read all of these before we dissect. We have the Emperor here. Um, this is all about, you know, 
the king of all kings. This is the one that makes the ultimate decisions. Very, very powerful energy. And then we end with the eight of cups in reverse, which is not being able to move on from something emotionally. So what I'm getting with this group two with your superpower, it's almost like we start with this energy of, you know, not what was me, nothing ever works out for me. Everything is shit, right? And it's like, maybe you already went through that point in your life. But then we go to the four of swords here. So the four of swords is contemplation. It's resting. I almost feel like like you have this superpower of when something seems really effing shitty um, and it's not manifesting and you really want it to, whether it's a relationship, whether it's whatever desire it is, you have this ability to kind of just like be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going inward. I'm going to rest. I'm going to sleep on it. it. It's not the end of the world. It, like it might feel that way at first, but then you have this ability to kind of turn it around and be like, you know what? Let me get out of my head a little bit. I'm gonna sleep on it or, you know, nap on it, meditate on it. And with the four here, the emperor, it's like you come out on top. The emperor is the king of all kings. It's besides the empress, the most powerful card in the deck. And the eight of cups in reverse, this can be stuck on something emotionally. So I feel like for, for you group two, this can feel like um, a lot of the time, like your emotions get the best of you, but I feel like you're actually like, I'm hearing over the years, you've done a really, really good job of being able to simmer down that energy and turn it into something powerful. Now, ending with the Eight of Cups in reverse can mean that, especially with the Emperor next to it, there can be sometimes like a little bit of an emotional struggle moving on from something in the past. A lot of you could be Cancers, although I didn't really see Cancer energy in here. I'm getting like a kind of can get stuck on the past energy or stuck on something that didn't work out or your emotions kind of getting the better of you. But I feel like for the most part, ending with the emperor is one of the last cards group two. This is a really, really powerful way to turn a situation around. So group one kind of got this energy, but there was more like instant. I feel like for you, it takes a while to kind of sort out your emotions and then, you know, come back to everything and be like, OK, it's not that big of a deal. Let's get more for group two. Okay, shuffle twice, cut once. What is group two's greatest superpower? Greatest superpower for group two. Greatest power. What does group two need to know about their greatest superpower? All right, we have ship here, which is all about moving on, adventure, travel. So yeah, I feel like there's this energy of being able to move on from something, but you know, we have a giant jellyfish here carrying the boat. So jellyfish can sometimes sting. This almost makes me think that, yeah, <laughs> like you've had moments where, yeah, you, you've been stung before. Um, getting that with the three of swords, the three right here. I don't know. I'm almost getting like a, a three is a crowd. Like, I don't know if this had to do with um, another like person, a third party situation, or I don't know what this is, but it's almost feeling like you're really learning how to temper your emotions group too. And I'm noticing the next card here is a nine and it says bouquet. And we almost have the same energy with the nine of cups here. So I just wanted to point that out. There could be some of you dealing with a breakup or something like that, but let's get more. What does group two need to know? What is it that group two needs to know about their greatest superpower? Look at this highest self. That's what I like to see equalizer. Okay, so there's something about balancing out energy. And like I said, I feel like you're tempering out your energy. You're learning how to do it. You're actually really good at it now. Take that one out. Justice, usually with the scales, right? So there is definitely something about balance, tempering. It's all about balance, right? And balance is really nothing more than when you think about the scales, you know, what needs to go, what needs to be added, what needs to kind of be in the, in the picture, in the scenario for things to be evened out hearing gratitude and seeing gratitude too all right let's get more let's get more for group two tell me about their greatest superpower i definitely need to shuffle these they felt a little bit stuck okay let's get more for group two greatest superpower for group two Yeah, with the emperor and highest self, there's definitely something about like your full potential. Notification red. Okay, let's see what that's about. This can be an urgent energy of some sort. 
Tell me more about that for group two. Toad, okay. Definitely getting like an urgent notification on your phone. So Toad in this deck symbolizes like apprehension. It's kind of like the mice in the Lenormand deck, like doubt, worry, apprehension. I'm feeling like for some of you, it feels like there's a big worry in here. I'm just going to say this as an aside. It feels like there's a big worry about um, <clears throat> a particular person or things not working out. Don't worry about that. I feel like you're meant to move on from that. I don't, this is not a love reading, but I feel like I need to say that for some of you. There's something with notification red. I almost feel like, you know, okay. So I'm just going to tell you what's on my mind. With the emperor here, with highest self and with notification red, this almost seems like you have this commanding presence, right? Like this feels like the page coming to the emperor, like, my lord, we have... Uh, tragic information or like exciting news <laughs> like this really feels like that overflowing like I gotta tell somebody and it's almost like this energy is coming to you for some of you this could be you know you when the emotions get the better of you right you're like seeing red kind of going a little crazy here but when you temper that energy I feel like you're able to attract a lot of like I'm hearing demanding and commanding presences like this is feeling like people are coming to you with really heavy information and not necessarily bad, but it's like you're the you're the first person to find out in some way group two. This feels like, yeah, very much, you know, what they're showing me in my mind. And I don't know if they're meaning this as a joke. They're saying kind of 50 50 when George W was told about 9-11 and they're literally showing me like you are that person to be told about something like really intense happening. All right, so we have the dandelion coming out, right? I saw so many dandelions when I just went outside earlier. But dandelion energy to me is all about, you know, like pleasant, you know, I think it's is it after they become a dandelion and that they have that um, like wispy, I forgot what you call them, but they're like the blowy thingies. Yeah, this is feeling like wipe your worries away. I'm kind of getting that. I love that. I kind of didn't even think about that. I put that next to the toad for a reason. They're telling me wrong way, wrong way, but take this one out. Okay. The bodega cat. This is literally this energy resting. The bodega, blah, blah, blah. the bodega cat is also kind of like the emperor of the bodega, right? Like chill, sits there, gets everything delivered. This feels like people come to you with serious information group too. Whether it's bad, whether it's good, it doesn't really matter. Like you're the highest of the high, that's your superpower. And it's almost like in some way your emotions get you there, but your emotions can also get the better of you group too. So this is really all about tempering that energy and turning it into something like, it's almost like attraction. Cause I don't feel like this is even like going out and getting, even though we do have the emperor and we do have the ship. I feel like this is people coming to you. So like blowing in your direction. So let's get a charm for you. Through the selenite bowl group two, what do you need to see? What does group two need to see through the charms? All right, we have the paw right here. I'm hearing take the first step. And I think the first step is actually kind of the opposite of a step. It's like chilling out, right? Like the bodega cat, the four of swords, temper that energy. And this kind of looks like a puppy paw print. So it's like take that little step, which could just be, you know, chilling out, not even really a step. Let's get a spirit message for you, group two. I just saw 11 11. That's got to be a message. You're already in divine alignment. I communicate clearly and effectively. And yeah, that's what emperors and empresses do, right? It's like when you need something, someone's on call. This feels like people are always, you know, coming through for you in some way, which is really powerful. I mean, if you, <laughs> that's one of the most powerful energies you can have, right? Like, I need something and people are coming through. And I just want to show you this one staring at me. May the light of your soul guide you. And this one too. Love expands in you and around you for yourself and for all. Love, interconnection, harmony, heart chakra. Yeah, there's definitely some of you dealing with like a love situation. But group two, I think for the most part, this is definitely talking about 
when you really tap in and tune into yourself, there's a lot of really amazing energy energy that comes to you and people want to provide for you. So that is a superpower. So I hope that resonated. If you are interested in a personal reading, head on over to the moon at Otherwise, yeah, check my description box and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching group two. What's up group three? You chose the right group. So trust your intuition. Let's see what's going on for you. What your greatest superpower is. I'm actually going to put this quartz right there. Let's see what's going on for group three. All right, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Love to see it. All right, so <laughs> that would be Gemini energy. The Queen of Swords upright, Libra energy. The King of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. The Five of Pentacles, Taurus energy. The Ten of Cups in reverse, Pisces energy the justice card oh no this is the high priestess i thought that was 11. high priestess in reverse cancer energy and the knight of pentacle or wands almost said the knight of pentacles knight of wands sagittarius energy all right group three so with the ten of swords in reverse gemini you know the ten of swords is a card of defeat it's like a devastating ending so in reverse it's kind of almost like a resurrection you're getting out of this horrible ending and then we have let's get this straight again and then we have the queen of swords so the Queen of Swords, Libra energy, always speaks her truth. She's very expressive. So this is kind of feeling like it's almost like the truth shall set you free is what I'm getting with this. I feel like the first thing I'm getting group three is you always speak the truth. That's one of your biggest superpowers. You always say what's on your mind and it's always the truth. It's like you might be that person in the room that says what no one else is thinking. You could definitely be an air sign or a Libra, Gemini, um, Aquarius. We have the King of Wands in reverse. So this is like a powerless feeling when it's in reverse. Five of Pentacles, this is, it's feeling like you got cold shouldered, right? Like thrown out in the cold. Sometimes you might feel like speaking your truth gets you into trouble. <laughs> kind of getting that energy here or you know it's almost like you feel powerless in some way when you speak your truth maybe it's even like not speaking your truth makes you feel powerless um, but we have the ten of cups in reverse so the ten of cups is a happily ever after so in reverse group three this can indicate and it's funny it's being led by you know um why can i not think of his name the grim reaper <clears throat> so in reverse this is actually feeling like Like when you're not able or when you express yourself and it's almost like you're shunned for it, there there's a disconnect for you. The high priestess in reverse, she's all knowing, but when she's in reverse, there's this like not, I'm hearing not telling. And then we end with the knight of wands, who's very passionate, always going after his desires. Group three. This feels like you are leading a re an unpopular revolution. Like you have all of the answers, but you know, you've noticed over time that when you speak your truth, it's not popular. I feel, and I'm hearing this, prophets aren't popular. Group three, it feels like you're the prophet that speaks the truth that no one else wants to hear. And your highest calling, your greatest superpower is going ahead and speaking that truth anyway, even if it's unpopular. Um, I think that's a really important message. And I love that I just said that with 333 energy. Give me more for, I almost said for 333, for group three. Tell me more for group three, their greatest superpower. They're telling me to put that back. That one wanted to come spitting out. All right, we got birds energy. 12 was actually the number of the hangman, Pisces energy. So we have a bird cage hanging. Would you look at that? Birds are all about communication. They're migratory creatures. There's definitely something about talking. And it's funny because, you know, the they say that the, the cage bird isn't free until it's like, you know, able to sing. I feel like there's something, especially with these two birds watching, this almost feels like you... <laughs> This feels like you were Rosa Parks in a past life group three or Nat Turner. This feels like you led a rebellion and it wasn't popular or that's how you're kind of acting in this life. Like you're someone that le goes into battle and speaks the truth, even though it's not popular. Almost like a Jesus energy. 
All right, let's get more for group three. Tell me more about group three's big mouth and how it gets them into trouble, even though they are the prophets. So you are fulfilling, you know, the work that goddess has set out for you. I feel like you are speaking your truth, even though it might not feel the best at times. Like you might be shunned or people might tell you, hey, you know, that's not the popular opinion. That's not the status quo. Why would you think like this? There's something about the way you think, group three, that's very different, which is, I definitely could see air sign energy or Cancerian energy. I'm a Cancer. We kind of be like that. All right, give me more for group three. Tell me more for group three. What's going on? Take that one too, I just heard. All right, we have nurture. And we have clarity nurture your clarity clarity is also about expression and then we have the libra skills here so libra is a social butterfly there's definitely something about clarity of expression i feel like you have this superpower of um clear speech or clear knowing or it's like a clear sentience in some way a clear whatever right clairvoyance clear sentience clear cognizance it's like you have this divine power of speech or seeing or like expressing truth in some way and I feel like you need to nurture that, especially with the staff there. I'm hearing you could lead a generation <laughs> or a revolution. Look at this energy. I'm going to take this off because this feels like you, group three. Yeah, that feels like your energy. Let's see what's on the other side. Silicon technology. Yeah, this is definitely feeling like... Um, and for some of you, it could be literal technology, how you're getting the word out there. Maybe you're in technology, but this feels like you are speaking the truth and it's your superpower in some way, shape or form. All right, let's get more for group three. What is it that group three needs to see about their superpower, their greatest superpower? We have sticker earrings. Okay, interesting. So that can be about hesitance or not sticking to something or, you know, being kind of non-committal. They're telling me to put that back in. That wasn't right. Okay, tell me more. I'm also getting something about the ear in general, about like listening, speaking and listening, right? How do we hear people through the ear? So there's something about people listening. And I like that we have a smiley face sticker because it's almost like people are really actually, there's some people, group three, that are liking what you're saying. And I think that's where you're going to find your, your tribe. Sunrise, this is activate energy. I'm hearing that, just say that, activate energy. Yeah, and it feels like you're doing that through talking, which is real, right? That's how we activate energy is um, through talking, through clarity of expression. Let's get more for group three. The greatest superpower, which is definitely speaking and having, I feel like people listen when you speak. Thrift shop magic. So this is all about like finding hidden treasures, right? That's what you find at thrift shops. So maybe there's something that you say and you might not even realize it, but I feel like even when you just talk to friends group three, you might say a little snippet of something and people might be like, oh my God, I got to write that in my phone or holy shit, like that was really profound. And you're like, I was just talking. This feels like that energy. Um, I really feel like you like show and express bits of magic even through your voice for some of you maybe you um work with art in some way we have protection yeah i feel like the more you speak the more you're going to be protected because it feels like maybe you've been afraid to speak up because people you know might be a little bit judgy yeah this is definitely and i'm looking at the book titles herbs for protection protection magic maybe you want to speak some protection spells or rituals but i definitely feel like no matter what you already are protected so you ain't gotta worry about a group three bottom of the deck 11 11 yeah you're always um speaking truth synchronizing other side we have you belong here and that's like new york energy and new yorkers speak whatever is on their mind so this is definitely feeling like you are speaking the truth and it's, yeah, it, it's like what, you, literally this is like, I call it like I see it. And it is what it is. Let's get more for you, group three. Through the charms here. What's a charm that group three needs to see? 
Oh, I love it. We have the heart here. Speak from the heart. That's what I'm hearing with that. And I also feel like there's something with the gold heart in particular. Like the more you speak, the more the gold is for you. Like the, the more the... Why am I hearing the gold plated jewelry? <laughs> but it's literally like the more treasures there are for you, the more you speak. And I'm hearing the more you speak good. Work on your speech. I feel like that's a really powerful thing for you, group three. They're telling me this is it. Okay. Spirit message. We have live big, right? And that's what happens when you speak big and kind of crazy and out of pocket and say things that... You know, people might not want to hear all the time. I'm looking at um, which is the highest consci consciousness. Yeah, this is definitely feeling like um, you know what you're saying. You know what you're putting out there when you speak. Um, but you're not you're not going to be afraid to do it anymore. Group three. This is a superpower, and it's one that can make you a lot of money. So I hope this resonated. If you're interested in a personal reading, head on over to themoonempress.com or check my description box for information on how to get in touch. Otherwise, yeah, I will talk to you later, group three. What's good, group four? You chose wisely. Let's see what your greatest superpower is. So we're going to put this crystal right here. Break out these tarot cards. All right, we have the fool. I knew someone was going to start with the fool and it was you group four all right so that's aquarius energy then we have the eight of wands in reverse sagittarius energy then we have the four of cups in reverse cancer energy the wheel of fortune jupiter energy which would be sagittarius energy also has all the fixed signs so leo scorpio taurus and aquarius we have the star another aquarius energy Seven of Swords in Reverse, Aquarius energy again. You could definitely be an Aquarius watching this group four. And we have the Five of Wands in Reverse, Leo energy. Or another fixed sign. Getting a lot of fixed sign energy. All right, so the Fool. Fool is starting something new. One of your, um, right off the bat, I'm getting one of your superpowers could be new adventures, right? You can travel anywhere. You can go anywhere. You're very adaptable. You like to do new things. You like to start projects. And then we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. So this is funny because this is go, go, go upright. But in reverse, it's like, right, like a dead end or something isn't getting off the ground running. You might have these like amazing ideas, extraordinary ideas, exorbitant ideas. But for some reason, it's like it never seems to go anywhere or get off the ground running. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. So the Four of Cups is, I'd like to see it in reverse because upright is kind of meh, whatever, like, yeah energy but in reverse it's like you're getting out of that kind of whatever rut right it's like you're starting to get more fire in you but then we have the wheel of fortune in reverse the wheel in reverse can be not moving or things not going your direction um so i'm kind of getting especially with the star next to it the star is all about having faith hope that even though sometimes like things might not seem like they're moving in the direction that you want group for you always it's almost like your mindset is always to have faith and somehow you always get out of that energy because the seven of swords in reverse is all about um you know getting away from this stealthy or maybe not even stealthy but kind of like icky low vibrational someone wants to take from you energy it's almost like you're not going to steal my shine this is what this feels like and then we end with the five of wands in reverse, which I love to see because the five of wands in reverse is conflict resolution. So this feels like you always find a way out, right? This feels like there's, even if something doesn't work out, it's like there's always a way. I'm kind of getting that with the star sticking out here. Even if it didn't go the way that you wanted, you realize there's always a way. <laughs> even if it didn't manifest the way that you want group four, there's still another way. Like there's always something better i'm getting i'm hearing this or better that should be one of your mottos because i feel like that's a really prevalent energy in your life they're telling me this is not even the right deck you know better all right that's true <laughs> i was not using this deck starting with the other other groups okay shuffle two times cut three tell me more about group four's greatest superpower and this definitely feels like, like, yeah, star energy. 
with the star, the fool, this is definitely all about your prospects, your choices, knowing there's more out there. I'm going to take both of these. We have the bouquet and we have ship. Okay, number three and number nine. So this is all about adventure and travel. I'm not surprised that's coming out. And bouquet can all, like, this is like an offering, a receiving in some way. I'm hearing receiving an offer, receiving an offer to maybe go somewhere. But this can also be about, like, options, right? It's almost like there's someone offering this bouquet. Group four, this is definitely feeling like you are always looking at the prospects your other options what's available to you it's like there's never a i'm hearing a never a dull moment but this is like it's never this moment right coffin the end it's never it's never the end the end is a new beginning give me more for group four tell me more about group four what does group four need to see about their greatest superpower which I feel like is, it's not just starting new projects. It's, it's almost like having the faith that even though they didn't go the way that you intended, they're still going to work out. It's like trusting the bridge of incidents. Look at this. Manifestia, creation. Yes, this is definitely magician energy. Starting something new. Able to turn water into wine. Give me more for group four's greatest superpower. And I think, you know, with manifesting and creation it's all about your choices the way you choose to go so this is feeling like there's always an outlet right there's never a dead end stability yes this reminds me of the king of pentacles or the emperor energy it's funny we have the coffin on the bottom and then we have ego death it's like even amongst like or amidst kind of got caught between those words group four <laughs> it's like even amongst the most like deadly or like situations that feel like they have no outlet you still find a way that's what i love look at this other side of both we have the star right i'm gonna keep that out because it feels very important the star and tradition it's almost like in your dna i'm gonna take that out too because it feels like it's in your dna to keep going group four like it, it's not in your best interest to give up yeah this is like if i had to put this in three words not giving up that's your superpower let me grab my other deck over here okay give me more for group four what is it that group four i'm hearing shuffle once cut three times or twice okay tell me more for group four what is it that group four needs to see about their greatest superpower. It's funny with uh, creation and stability. This feels like you're making a lot of money in some way from these ventures. I'm getting something too with the wheel, the star. I don't know why this just occurred to me, but there's something about being willing to travel far for what you desire. This feels like it. Right? We have giraffe and shark. Giraffe is about, um, this could be about being like meddlesome. You see their, their necks are intertwined. Oh my gosh, the way that just fell. So this feels like even when you get caught up in a situation, shark, to me, this is all about, you know, aggressive energy. Sharks are, they can be a little bit mean, but it's almost like they're kind of badass me. And like, I'm going to go for what I want and no one's going to stop me. This... <laughs> I'm hearing Michael Scott. I don't know if you watch The Office. No one better try. <laughs> uh, this feels like, yeah, it's like keep going. I said not giving up group four. Your superpower is like you can keep going forever. Endurance, man. A new day, right? Because you always know there's an outlet. A new day is coming. There's a new dawn. I love that with star. They're telling me to take that one out. The portal. That's literally the perfect card to end on. And I also want to show you the bottom because the portal is all about, you know, a new way, a new opening, a new door, new opportunities. You are able to make so many new opportunities or find them. Everything is temporary. Yeah. So one locked door doesn't mean it's locked forever. I love this group for this is really inspiring. All right, let's get a charm for you. If I can move this over a little bit. 
Give me a charm for group four. This one caught my finger right away. Shine, come on now. With two stars here, like that's what you do. And I love that we have that with a new day. Yeah, group four, that's what you do best. You shine, you're able. And I feel like I'm hearing your shine opens doors. Like you never look at anything as a finality. And that's amazing. Let's get a spirit message for you. Dare. And of course it's a star. Yeah, dare to shine. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, this is like your shine is literally going to open new doors. There's never an ending group four. And you already know that. That's your superpower. Never giving up endurance, going for it. Because all of that energy breeds creation. What am I hearing? I'm hearing before I even close out, um, <clears throat> limitation breeds creation. So I hope that resonated. If you're interested in a personal reading, head on over to themoonempress.com. Um, otherwise, I should have info in my description box about how to get in touch with me. But yeah, thank you so much for stopping by Group 4, and I will talk to you later. What's up, Group 5? Look alive. You guys chose this particular group. I'm sure it's the right one. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what your greatest superpower is. We're going to get started with these tarot cards. All right, we have the world. So I love this because group four ended with, or they started with the fool, which is the first card. And you guys are starting with the world, which is the last card. So I think that's really interesting. Maybe you kind of struggle between group four, group five. Who knows? Maybe you want to go back, watch group four. But yeah, the world is um, Saturn energy. So that's Capricorn. Also has all the fixed signs, so that's Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. Maybe you resonate. All right, we have the three of wands here. Aries energy. We have the hermit in reverse. Virgo energy. We have the six of swords in reverse. Aquarius energy. We have the six of wands, two sixes in a row. Leo energy. All right, we have the Page of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. We have the Hierophant in reverse, number five. And we have Judgment in reverse. So the Hierophant is Taurus and Judgment is Pluto energy, which would be Scorpio. So most groups had seven decks. I think you and group one have, or I'm sorry, seven cards each. You and group one have eight. It's just what wanted to come out. All right, group five. The world. There's an ending here. There's a completion with the world here. Let's see what it is. It's funny because the three of wands is starting something new. So kind of opposite energy there. You know, I'm instantly off the bat. I'm getting you're really good at ending things and starting something new. Just as simple as that. You're good at like endings and regeneration. Getting heavy Scorpio energy. All right. And then we have the hermit in reverse. So the hermit can in reverse can be about not doing the inner work or not facing yourself in some way. I'm hearing not facing your shadow. Um, and then we have the six of swords in reverse. So this is Aquarius energy. This is kind of like not moving into a safe space. This feels like when you first start something new, right? Maybe you kind of have this tendency to overlook with the Hermit in reverse and the Six of Swords, it's almost like you didn't check all the <laughs> the ins and outs, right? But then we have the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands is a win. It's a victory. I'm almost getting with this energy. This almost feels like consultant energy, right? Like you buy a new company, you finish with one company, fix it all up, buy a new company. And... It's like there there's some things that maybe you didn't see from the get go, but somehow you emerge victorious. OK, so then we have a page of cups in reverse. The page of cups in reverse can be about not following your intuition or even not having a cup to pour from. So there's a need to go inward. I'm feeling like a big need to go inward here. Group five. And then we have the here fought in reverse. This can be about going your own direction, not following tradition can also be about not listening to the rules. And then we have judgment in reverse. Sometimes what I'm getting with all of this is that you have a really good intuition, but sometimes you second guess it because of the way 
<laughs> it's not because it doesn't end up well, but the way that it happens is like not the way that you wanted it to, or it was like more sticky than it needed to be, group five. This is feeling like you have this superpower of things almost magically working out in the way that you wanted it to or where you come out victorious, but the process feels a little bit stickier, like you overlook something or let's get a little bit clearer on that. <laughs> I feel like there's a big message in here, group five. All right, group five, look alive. Let's see what the next message about your superpower is, your divine superpower. We have coffin. Okay, which makes a lot of sense because we started with an ending. So the coffin is all about endings, completions of a cycle. Let's get a little bit more. I love that that's eight energy, which can be about infinity going on and on and on. I'm hearing really good at endings. That is a superpower, right? Goodbyes are a bitch is a saying for a reason, but you're really good. I'm hearing goodbyes are a cinch. Group five, goodbyes are very easy for you. Even if you feel like you're not amazing at goodbyes, in some aspect, you're really good at them. Spirit's acknowledging that. All right, we have abracadabra, connect, getting heavy magician energy. They're telling me to put it on this side, okay? And we have let go, dance portal. That's funny, connect and let go, almost like opposite. It's kind of how we started, right? The world to the three of wands ending beginning connect let go it's kind of like there's a balance here i feel like you're really good at knowing when to turn things on and off right it's like you know when to activate certain energies and you know when to let certain energies go that is a superpower there, there's something about knowing when to stop and start and continue you know what before i even go on because i feel like that was pretty self-explanatory i'm gonna let me get a few more Group five, tell me what group five needs to know. What is it that group five needs to know? Take it, I'm hearing about their superpower. Amethyst, yes, it's all about connecting with your upper, you know, chakras, your higher chakras. Amethyst is the color of the crown chakra and the third eye chakra, that purple violet energy. So there's definitely something about seeing what other people don't wow yeah word art this is about innovation this is also about like being a visionary this feels like you have a divine vision and i think that's why you're so good at knowing how to turn things on and off group five okay this one just spilled out so i'm gonna take it volcano yeah because you know when things are <laughs> i'm hearing you know when to get off a sinking ship right or a volcanic mountain or it's also like this could be a good energy, like a fun eruption. And they want me to take this one out too. Sunrise, this is about activating good energy. Group five, sunrise. Let me get some more oracle cards for you. Yeah, there's something about like clear knowing. You know what this feels like in one word? Your superpower, prudence. Um, it's like the gift of foresight. Because you have amethysts who have, wow, it's like almost like this seeing vision energy, but then also <laughs> with this like ending and beginning and in the middle, like a pow, climax energy with volcano. It, there's something about knowing when to stop, start and go. And it's because you have this gift of divine foresight. Anything is possible. I love it. We've got theater doors opening or they're not really opening, I should say that. I don't know what you call those, right? There's a name for those, but they're paving the way. I'm kind of getting that too with this anything is possible message with the amethyst. I do want to show you, they're telling me to take out from the bottom, letting go, it matches that too. There's definitely something about not worrying. I feel like you're always making sure. I'm hearing there's something about presence too. You have this gift of presence and any given moment, making sure that um, you're connected with the amethyst energy. And I think because of that connection, you don't have to actively manifest as hard as other people. It's like, you just know things are going to work out. We have enjoy the ride coming out for a reason. They're telling me to take that one out too. Yeah. There's something you, you're able to determine. I feel like in terms of timing 
and prudence and foresight. You have this gift of vision of foresight where you just know when to stop and start. And it's, yeah, most people don't have that, group five. If you're like, mm, that's not really a superpower. Yes, the fuck it is. <laughs> Let me tell you, right? That's like literally why addiction exists. So before I even start grabbing those, let me put our selenite bowl right here. Let's get some crown jewels for you, group five. Some charms. We have the butterfly transformation, right? Stop, start, and go. That's all transformation is, right? What's changing, what's staying, what's moving. Yeah, this feels like you're becoming. This is like the process of becoming more and more. And that's really all it is, right? Death, rebirth, regeneration. Group five, I'm hearing you're amazing at becoming. All right, let's get a spirit message for you, group five. What's the spirit message for group five? They're telling me to take it. Just this one. Don't postpone joy. And again, that's what I was saying about presence. I think you're really good at being present and knowing to have fun in the moment because each given moment, it's your life. Your life is every single moment. So there's definitely something about enjoying, enjoying the ride. Where was that message? Yeah. Being present, enjoying the ride. Your superpower is knowing when to stop, start, and go. It's the gift of foresight, of prudence. So I hope that resonated, Group 5. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in a personal reading, head on over to themoonempress.com or check out my description box. I should have more info on how to get in touch with me for a reading. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch you later, Group 5. What's good, Group 6? I'm sure you chose this group with divine intention. So let's see what's going on, what your superpower is whether you know it or not. All right, so we have the Justice card coming out. Libra Energy. We have the Moon. No, this is the Death card. On this deck, it does look like the Moon card. This is the Death card. Scorpio Energy. All right, more for Group 6. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. We have the Ace of Pentacles, or the One of Pentacles in this deck, Virgo Capricorn Taurus. We have the Chariot, Cancer Energy. The Page of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini Energy. We have the Three of Cups, Cancer Energy. And we have the Sun card, number 19. Okay, so most groups got seven cards. You, group four four I believe and maybe it was group five I think it was group four and group one got eight it's just what came out okay group six so we start with the justice card right away I'm hearing that you guys are really amazing with diplomacy right being diplomatic being fair and square unbiased that's a superpower and then we have the death card in reverse this can be about not being able to move forward into another realm, another dimension, because the death card is all about transition, right? Death changes everything. So in reverse, there's this energy of being like almost blocked or stuck. And then we have the king, or I'm sorry, the knight of pentacles, who is the slowest moving knight, but he's still making waves, right? Very strategic energy. And then we have the ace of pentacles. So I feel like there's something in here right away about like... <laughs> You guys could be a lawyers or in criminal justice or be interested in like government type jobs or careers because I'm getting a lot about like being diplomatic um, and also making money from that diplomacy. So with the death card in reverse too, I feel like especially next to the Knight of Pentacles, this can be like a slow moving something or other. Let's let's go through this, though. Group six. All right, so we have the chariot in reverse, which can be about not moving at all because it's the fastest moving card in the tarot deck. So in reverse, there's another blockage. And then we have the page of swords. So the page of swords can be a gossip, a spy, someone who's executing their thoughts, um, a looker, if you will. And then we have the three of cups in reverse. Could be three is a crowd of energy, overindulgence in some way. And the sun card in reverse, not being able to see the light of day. Group six, this is feeling like a strategy because I'm getting that with the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles because Pentacle energy is all about, you know, strategizing, planning, plotting, scheming. Um, 
but then with the chariot in reverse, it's like sometimes maybe something ain't going your way. It's hard to get things off the ground running. Page of Swords. I feel like, you know what I'm getting with this? You are a master of planning, plotting, scheming. Um, but I, I don't want to even say but because I don't think it's a but. I think that is like a really powerful thing to be amazing at group six because this energy, um, it, it makes a lot of money. It's a lot about strategy. It's a lot about blueprinting. So there's a very like original creative energy with this, but it's almost like <laughs> maybe by the time you finally execute it, like there's a blockage in the way or, you know, there's a law forbidding it or it, it's almost like, or, or someone else has done it. Like maybe even the page of swords, even though it's not in reverse, like it could be someone else's or becoming someone else's idea next to the three of cups in reverse. This feels like you, I don't want to say this. It, it's almost feeling like sometimes, sometimes, you sit on things or like you plan so much that the execution never really sees the light of day because you're such a master planner, group six. Okay, well, I wanna go deeper into this because I feel like there, there's a big message in here. I'm being told to make this a little bit more shiny. Okay. Clear energy for group six. What is it they need to see superpower wise? Group six energy. Clouds, all about shape shifting. This can sometimes be about distractions, but I'm getting very like transformational shape shifting, which does make sense with, right, the death card. Even though it's in a reverse, I feel like you're, it's almost like something is moving in the air. There's almost like this very slow energy of planning, plotting, scheming. Maybe you're an architect engineer it's it's like something is shifting in that give me more for group six so let that we have six for group six tell me more for group six what's going on here tell me about their superpower all right so we have union and stability, right? Which makes sense with the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. There's a lot about money. There's something you do. You could be a Virgo for sure, or another Earth sign, Taurus or Capricorn, but I'm getting a lot about money and coming into divine alignment with it. Give me more for group six. I'm getting a lot about like emperor energy too. This makes, it makes me feel like with the emperor, which makes me think of like superior, the original, the creator, and all this planning energy, it makes me think of a blueprint. But it also feels like this is like, you know, the blueprint to the mansion or the super kingdom that never really got off the ground running. Snake game. This can be about boredom and apathy. Tell me more about that snake game. I don't know if you're a child of the 90s, but Snake was it, okay? We have Thunder. So Thunder to me is all about, mom the way that just flipped, kind of verified what I was just about to say, is all about momentum. This is like momentum. It can be like a caution or an alert, but I almost feel like there, <laughs> and it kind of does make sense with the Snake game, because you could play the Snake game forever. There's something about an urgency with clouds, thunder coming out. It's like, oh, there's a storm coming, honey. Like. It just needs to rain down. I'm hearing that too with like this emperor energy, the stability energy, like rain down ideas, right? There's something that needs to just come raining down. And I feel like it's, if you haven't, if you don't have these riches yet, group six, they're 100% in escrow for you. But I feel like you haven't like executed the plan to be able to get that like in your bank account just yet. Let me get a little bit more for you with my other deck here. Give me more for group six. Their superpower. All right, so we have projections. And sound, frequency, and resonance. 
I'm almost getting something with both these energies together. It makes me feel like a reverberation, right? Like a concert, right? Like projecting the sound, projecting the frequency, projecting the resonance. And I feel like that's exactly what you need to do. You need to project this really masterful. It's almost like I have this master designer blueprint. Maybe some of it, this might not even be for... Um, right. I just said plans. This could be, you know, a blueprint for a building. Maybe you're an engineer. Maybe this is for like a new sound that you want to come out with. This could be for fashion. It feels like the blueprint needs to see the light of day. God damn it. Group six. Like show the damn blueprint. Yeah, the, especially with the messenger on the bottom. I'm hearing take the messenger out to remind you. Look at this. We have the portal send the message right the reverberation out the frequency and the door will open the portal will open yeah and it, even with the fence right here i am getting something about like building right from the ground up the blueprint the fact that these are kind of both like places in particular i'm getting a very blueprint plan plot scheme make the blueprint and then put it out there group six okay so let's grab some chwams for you or a charm. I've been using one charm for everybody. What is the charm group six needs to see about their power? Get out of here. This is, I, I can't even make this up group six, right? Lightning bolt, power. Why am I hearing mercury energy? I don't know, but I am. There's something about, you know, expression with mercury. They're telling me to take out another one. Okay. I did it for any other group, but for you, I'm hearing that. We have shine and this is, I think this was group four. It was either group, was it group? I don't even remember at this point. Three, four, five. <laughs> this is literally, right? Like lightning bolt and sunshine energy. It's almost like bring out the lightning bolt so the sunshine can come out. There, There's like this huge light that you possess, group six. I actually think the light is your superpower. Even with projection here, I don't know why that just occurred to me. And the sun here. Yeah, you have a light and the lights are all here. Oh, come on now, group six. Yeah, this is making me think big time concert energy. Maybe you want to be a mu musician. Maybe you want to be a rock star with this kind of lightning bolt energy. All right. Tell me what group six needs to see. What's the spirit message? I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. This is all you need. You are great. Yeah, you already have it in you, group six. It's time to just let it out is what I'm hearing. Wow. I love this reading so much. This is like you have you have it all. It's time to put it out there. And I love that she's glowing, right? And we got the moonlight here. Yeah, this is all about shine your light. Show it. Shine your thunder show your thunder so i hope that resonated group six if you're interested in a personal reading head on over to themoonempress.com or check my description box i should have info on how to get in touch with me but yeah thanks for watching i will talk to you later group six group seven trust your intuition for guiding you right here let's see what's going on with your superpower what the universe wants you to know so we're gonna put our crystal crackle quartz right there all right so we have the eight of swords in reverse Love to see it in reverse. We have the nine of wands in reverse. Like to see that in reverse too. Eight of swords is Gemini. Nine of wands is Sag. We have the lovers in reverse. What's going on here? The three of pentacles upright. Okay, so the lovers is Gemini. Three of pentacles is Capricorn. We have the eight, <laughs> the eight strength card. We've got the Empress upright, love to see it, Taurus and Libra energy, Venus energy, and the Ace of Swords in reverse, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right, group seven. Let's see what's happening with these cards. Your greatest superpower. All right, so the Eight of Swords in reverse, this is like, you know, feeling stuck, not being able to move forward when it's upright. So in reverse, you're getting out of this energy. And the nine of wands is all about having um, walls up, guards up. So you're letting that down. This is feeling like you're becoming free. <laughs> um, and we have the lovers here. So the lovers is all about divine synchronicity, divine union. Let's see why this is in reverse. I'm, I'm feeling right away, group seven. Your superpower is freedom. It's breaking free. It's being able to break free. 
Um, maybe with the lovers in reverse, this is breaking free of a shitty love connection, one that's not really a love connection. It's just toxic. But let's see. We have the three of pentacles here. So this is about teamwork, collaboration. And then we have the strength card. This almost feels like it's like your work buddies or someone is helping you get out of a shitty sitch. I don't know if this is a work thing with the lovers in it. It doesn't necessarily have to be love. It can just be like something isn't jiving. Um, but three of pentacles can be work teamwork. So I don't know if it's like you're not jiving with work people. It feels like at the root of it, your superpower is freedom group seven. And then, yeah, with the string card, the three of pentacles, it's like you're able to collaborate with other people. And with the empress here, the queen of all queens. Yeah, this this is very much feeling like you have the power, like you have the almighty power. <laughs> Right. But then with the Ace of Swords in reverse, it's either like you're not executing for whatever reason or it's it's just not manifesting the way you thought it would. All right. Let's get clear on this group seven because I feel like this is kind of all over the place. Uh, but I definitely feel like you have this very divine feminine power. Also, with the strength card it could be like you have a good balance of feminine and masculine. But I, I feel like you're able to become free very easily i don't i'm not even quite sure what i really mean by that yet i feel like there's something about letting down boundaries this could even be one of those energies where you're able to kind of <laughs> get through certain boundaries like maybe you're gonna get like you know backstage at a concert without even paying for backstage tickets like that could be a superpower we have clouds here okay group six got this too so clouds are all about uh shape shifting right dynamic energy things are moving Let's get a little bit more. Group seven. What does group seven need to know? Superpower. What is group seven? I'm hearing one more shuffle. Fine, fine, fine. What does group seven need to know? What is group seven's superpower? Tell me more about this energy. You know what I'm hearing too with the Empress next to the Ace of Swords in reverse? You don't let anybody just talk to you any type of way, right? Like you can't just approach the Empress talking shit. Like you come correct to the Empress. I feel like there's something about that too, especially with the strength card there. It's like, ah, 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 come correct, right? Okay, so we have healing and truth aura, which is, yeah, maybe with the, um, ace of swords in reverse you might also be able to tell like a lie right off the bat that could be a superpower too you know when people aren't being honest or their true self or it's kind of like you know when they're bullshitting you the true shell sets you free i'm hearing that yeah there's something about you being so truth ridden and loving the truth group seven that i feel like you're you're so willing to call it out when it's not that all right let's get more One more shuffle I'm hearing. All right, give me more for group seven. What is it that group seven needs to see about their superpower? This feels, especially, you know, the fact that she's got two jugs, it feels like you're a very divine empress, like a diplomatic empress. Like you're not just gonna, you're not just gonna call people out to be a bitch, but it's like, if this is not feeling like truth, yeah, I'm gonna say something. Let me make this a little straighter, okay. Group seven, what is it that group seven needs to see about their superpower? What does group seven need to see about their superpower? Passing notes, this can be a scandal. This can be gossip. Tell me more about that. All right. What's a fall? This can be about abundance. This can be riches overflowing. Um, I'm kind of getting that too with the healing card. Feels like there's a lot of emotions. Like your emotions are definitely a superpower, energy, and motion group seven. But I also feel like there's some big energy about like the truth shall, sh shall set you free if I could actually talk. Because <laughs> there's a lot about communication, even with the Ace of Swords in reverse and the truth card. We have passing notes. And then we have the Empress who, you know, she always speaks her truth. She's always speaking from the heart. So she's always able to attract. This feels like 
And I'm getting something too. I want to take this out with the volcano and the waterfall. I'm going to put this right here. This is feeling like there's something overflowing. I don't know what's overflowing. I'm kind of getting that too with the healing card. All right, give me more for group seven. Let's see if we can't find out what's overflowing here. Maybe it's the truth. Overflowing with truth. Give me more for group seven. There's superpower. Maybe there's something too about even just water energy. I'm going to drop it because it felt like that was necessary. Okay. I'm going to not take that one out. Let's get a, a more accurate read for group seven. The most accurate read on their superpower. What does group seven need to know about their superpower? The crossroads this way or that way. It's funny that we have letting go. I'm almost getting something about that in the Ace of Swords in reverse. And even with the Empress, right? You might be able, maybe the old you also was like really good at calling people out, but it could have been explosive with that volcano there. I'm also getting something with the crossroads, like this decision energy and letting go. It's almost like, you know what? I'm not even going to call you out and tell you how you're fucking up or what you're doing. Cause you should just know that I'm just going to like leave. This feels like you're, you're not willing to accept like little petty, like whispers and bullshit it's like okay if this doesn't feel like truth i'm just gonna cut it off because i've got so much to give i'm not gonna waste it on you group seven this feels like you know exactly where to direct your energy and with the ace of swords in reverse the empress ain't directing it to lies to things that aren't truth this feels very much like you are all about the truth and if it's not that like whereas you might have called people out on it before i feel like you're just with the strength card and the empress you're just walking away you're like i'm not dealing with that good luck yeah have fun eyes on your own paper i think that's funny because this makes me think of this energy it's kind of like do your own thing like don't come to me like trying to emulate someone or something that you're not because if i don't call it out i'm just gonna walk away you beach day get away yeah this is especially with that healing energy waterfall why am i getting so much about water energy i feel like in some way maybe water magic group seven like i don't know if you do uh, moon rituals with water or you speak into your water it might be really really healing and beneficial to speak into your water your truth loving truth from the heart i feel like that's really really going to be beneficial but I'm getting a lot about with the volcano, waterfall, healing, like overflowing energy. This feels like you have so much to give, but it's all about um, like where you're giving this energy. This is all about like a, a keen sense of direction in implementing energy because whatever you pour into, it's going to manifest. All right, let's get... Yeah, this feels like in short, the power, the superpower of manifestation and through the truth through speaking truth from the heart and through giving. But yeah, this is like, I'm not, I'm not giving anyone this, right? With letting go, it's like, if you went for me, you're out of the picture. All right, let's get some charms for you, group seven. What does group seven need to see through the charms? All right, so I think this is a Zodiac Sagittarius. Yeah, Sag energy. This is all about the archer shooting for the stars, aiming as high as you can possibly go. That's one thing I love about Sag, eternally optimistic. And I feel like that's all you, it's like, why not? Why not be that way? I'm here and take another one to see what you're aiming for. Okay, take this one. Wow, another one. Wow, another Zodiac. You could be a Sag Cancer. Maybe you're interested in the Cancer. Cancer is all about the emotions, your energy in motion. It's also the mother energy, which is also the empress. So there could be something maybe you're aiming even to have a kid, right? To be a mother. But this feels like knowing where to direct energy is your superpower. And through your emotions, particularly emotions of the heart. All right, let's get a final spirit message for you, group seven. This one. The clover, joy, follow your joy, exactly. Emotions, energy in motion. When you feel joy, when you follow your joy, when you're happy, more happy scenarios, people, situations come into your reality. So follow your joy, follow what feels best. I hope this resonated group seven. Your superpower is all about directing your energy because wherever you direct it, it 
it manifests in a big way, in a huge way. So I hope that resonated. If you're interested in a personal reading, head on over to themoonempress.com. Otherwise, check out my description box and I should have information about how to get in touch with me. Thank you so much for watching Group 7. Have an amazing day.